Gracious and loving God, we thank you for the privilege to be a part of this community. We thank you, Lord, for those that have been named and elected to provide leadership for this city, for the communities of our county. And we would take this opportunity on this National Day of Prayer to lift them up to you. We think about the mayors of the different communities and the responsibility that they have. And we pray, Heavenly Father, that you would give them wisdom beyond themselves. We pray that you would give them wisdom that would allow them to make decisions that would provide a kind of leadership that would make us a community that would honor you. We think about all of the other leaders that have been elected. We think about city council. We pray, Lord, that you would work through them and draw them together in such a way that they can make good decisions, that they can have the kind of unity that's necessary to move the communities forward in a way that would bless the people of each of these communities. We think about those who have committed themselves to be in service for our communities. We think about those who have been called to protect and serve as we think about law enforcement all throughout our community. We think about the different police departments and we think about the sheriff's department. And God, we are honored that they would be willing to step out to provide that kind of protection, to place their lives on the line for peace and for justice. And so God, we pray for their protection. We pray that you would watch over them as, as they watch over us 24 hours a day. We think about firefighters in all of our communities who also are willing to lay down their life that they might be able to save life. And so God, we pray for them as well, praying for their safety, praying that you would help them to work together in such a way, Lord, that, that they can protect each other. We think about the health care professionals all around us, those who have committed themselves to, to healing. We think about doctors and nurses and administration, all of the specialists that have committed themselves, Lord, to be channels of your healing. And we just pray that you would give them wisdom and compassion as they become your hands of healing. But we know that ultimately you are the healer. So we place them into your care. We think about the teachers of our communities, ones that have been entrusted with, with the welfare of our children. And Lord, we think about what a tremendous gift those children are. And as we place them into the care of the teachers, we just pray, Lord, that you would help them to be able to, to guide these children in such a way that they would grow strong and, and wise, with knowledge that they would be able to use to better your kingdom. We pray that you would help them to nurture them, that they would grow strong and healthy emotionally. We think about all of those who have committed themselves to teach the children in the churches. Again, an awesome responsibility. For we know how special of a place children have in your kingdom. And so we think about all of those who have committed themselves Sunday after Sunday after Sunday, week after week after week, to teach your word to children. God bless them. Bless them and, and give them strength and encourage them that they can continue with such an important task. Lord, we are grateful to be a part of communities such as Upper Sandusky and all of the surrounding areas. Lord, we thank you for all the, all the freedoms that are afforded us as a part of this government. And we just pray, Lord, that, that as we experience those freedoms, that we would not abuse them. We pray, Lord, that you would help us to live in such a way that others would be lifted up. As we think about all of those that, that we prayed for in leadership in our community, Lord, one thing that stands out is, as a leader, we give ourselves to others. And so we pray, Lord, that all of us, not just those in leadership, but each person within our community would understand that principle, that we would be willing and able to step forward to lend a helping hand to those around us, that we wouldn't pass by on the other side of the street, but that we would be willing to kneel down and get involved in the lives of 
those who are hurting and in need. God, again, we thank you for the privilege to be a part of this city and the communities surrounding us. And we ask, God, that you would be honored in every decision that is made, in every service that is offered. May you be lifted up and glorified in all that we do as we lift the many leaders before you. And we do that in Christ's name. Amen.